Okay, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to do a, a quick little look at some coordinate geometry. We're going to find the point on the y-axis that it's equidistant from the point 5, negative 5, and 1, 1. So just to kind of get a visual on this, okay, here's our, well, it's, oh, that was terrible, but anyway, you get the idea. Uh, so 5, negative 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's our point right there, and then the point 1, 1 is going to be right there. We're looking for some point on the y-axis, and that's that's key here. On the y-axis, and the reason why that I say that that's key is because that actually is implying a bit of information there. It's not stated outright, but it's implied. A point on the y-axis is basically going to have a guaranteed x-coordinate of 0. Now, what's the y-coordinate? Well, I don't know. I don't know, but it's going to be 0, comma y. So somewhere on here, there's going to be a point, and I don't know exactly where it is, but... No, that's, that's not exact. Ah. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Just got to bring that back here. Um, what I want to do here is there's going to be some point here, down here, where these two are the same. Now, it's going to help us to also have the distance formula. If I want to find the distance between two points A and B, that is the square root. That is going to be XB minus XA squared plus yb minus ya squared. Okay, that's what we call the distance formula. Now, you should recognize that. That's the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, now in this particular case here, what we want to do is we want to set the distances kind of equal to each other. So we've got this point on the y-axis. Let's call this the point A. And then this is point, point B, and this will be point C. What I want here is I want the distance from A to C, or sorry, <coughs> we'll do it in order here, A to B, to be equal to the distance from A to C, which means this is going to be the square root, and I'll do the square root later. Uh, it's going to be X um, B, so 5 minus 0 squared plus negative 5 minus y squared. That is square root. That is the distance from a to b. And that is going to be the distance. I want that to be equal to the distance from a to c. So that's going to be 1 minus 0 squared plus 1 minus y squared. And again, square rooted. All right. Now, some things we can do to make our lives easy right away. First of all, we can square both sides of the equation. But all that's going to do is get rid of the square roots. So, but that's a, that's a step in the right direction. And then 5 minus 0 is 5. Squared will be 25. Over here, 1 minus 0 is 1. Squared is 1. And so I've gotten rid of like the easy, the easy little steps here. Now I'm going to do some expansion. So here we go. This will be 25 plus. Now I'm going to square this binomial. So, I, and I got to remember to do this correctly. I don't just square the first term and the last term. I have to multiply these two binomials out. So, that is going to get me uh, 25, and then it's going to be plus 10y plus y squared. And again, if you're not sure where I'm going with that, that's because it looks like this. So, it'll be 25 uh, plus 5y plus 5y plus y squared. On the right-hand side, this will be 1 minus y, so it's going to be 1 minus 2y plus y squared. And again, that's because it's 1 minus y times 1 minus y, 1 minus y minus y plus y squared. Now, some beautiful things happen here. Because at first you might look at this and think, oh my gosh, this is quadratic. And yeah, it sort of is for a while. And then all of a sudden these quadratic terms are going to cancel, which is beautiful. On the left-hand side, this becomes 50 plus 10y. On the right-hand side, this becomes 2 minus 2y. Well, let's bring the y terms over. So it's going to be 12y is going to equal. And when I bring the 50 over, 2 minus 50 is negative 48. And I'm going to get that y is equal to, when I divide that out, negative 4. So therefore, I know that the point that I'm looking for is the point 0, comma, negative 4. And I actually, when I drew it out there, I was close. I didn't know if it was going to be exactly negative 4 or not at that point. Okay, I, I was just kind of guessing there based on the way my graph looked. So I was pretty close. Anyway, that 
is the answer we're looking for.